At the End of the Feast by Anonymous. Read for LibriVox.org by Cory Samuel. 31st of December 2011. Mark well my heavy, doleful tale, for Twelfth Day now is come, and now I must no longer sing and say no words but mum. For I perforce must take my leave of all my dainty cheer, plum porridge, roast beef, and minced pies, my strong ale and my beer. Kind-hearted Christmas, now adieu, for I with thee must part, and for to take my leave of thee doth grieve me at the heart. Thou wert an ancient housekeeper, and mirth with meat didst keep, but thou art going out of town, which makes me for to weep. God knoweth whether I again thy merry face shall see, which two good fellows and the poor, that was so frank and free. Thou lovest pastime with thy heart, and eke good company. Pray hold me up, for fear I swoon, for I am like to die. Come, butler, fill a brimmer up, to cheer my fainting heart, that to old Christmas I may drink before he doth depart. And let each one that's in this room with me likewise condole, and for to cheer their spirits sad, let each one drink a bowl. And when the same it hath gone round, then fall unto your cheer, for you do know that Christmas time it comes but once a year. But this good draught which I have drunk hath comforted my heart, for I was very fearful that my stomach would depart. Thanks to my master and my dame, that doth such cheer afford. God bless them, that each Christmas they may furnish thus their board. My stomach, having come to me, I mean to have a bout, intending to eat most heartily, good friends I do not flout. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.